Hello YouTube, welcome back to my kitchen. I got another beer review for you. It is strawberry season here in Texas, guys. And if you haven't seen my video when I went to the Strawberry Festival in Poti, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. But in today's video, we're going to be reviewing, or I'm going to be reviewing for you, another beer. And this one is Shinerbox Strawberry Blonde. I haven't had this one yet. Um. <laughs> I have just started getting into tasting different beers. I've usually just stuck to either Bud Light, Dos Equis, or Modelo. And that's it. Every once in a while, um, a Tecate. But that's it. I haven't really strayed away from those except for when I go to um, <laughs> Dripping Springs and I go to Family Business brewing company but other than that like those are the ones that i stick to so now i'm starting slowly to get into trying different beers and see what i like to you know uh expand my horizons per se so we're gonna try shiner box this is a seasonal beer and they only sell it once a year during strawberry season here in texas so it is a local um, local brand from Texas, Shiner, and as you can see here, it is made with Poteet Texas strawberries. Can you see it? Can you see it? Will it focus? Focus. There we go. So, we're going to give these bad boys a try. So let's take a closer look at this box. It's so cute. It says Shiner Strawberry Blonde. Six pack, I did pay $9.99 without tax at HEB for this six pack. So cute. I love, I love the way this box looks. It's just so cute. All right, let's look at the bottle. It is a brown bottle. There we go. Made with strawberries from Poteet. Very nice. I do want to get into drinking local beers. Focus. Focus. Huh. There we go. There we go, that's better. You can hear the birds whistling outside. I have this lighting door open. <laughs> but this is just too cute. I love this little sign right here. Let me see. Yep. Ripe for the drinking. <laughs> All right, let's open this bad boy and see what she looks like. So I don't believe it is a screw off. I do believe you need a bottle cap opener. There we go. That's pretty. Pizza's ready, just came out, but this looks amazing. It's not, I mean, it's more of a golden color to it. And guys, let me just say, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive, make good choices. I am drinking at home with a pizza and veggies, so. And this is probably gonna be the only drink I have tonight. But I do smell strawberries. Okay, let's go for that first sip. Ooh. 
Okay. It's good. It, there's a small hint of strawberries. I can smell it. I can smell it for sure, sure. I can smell it for sure. <laughs> but I, I really don't taste it. I mean, it's it's hiding in there. It's, it kind of tastes like the spree from family business with a hint of, with a tiny hint of strawberries. But this is really not that bad. I do love the color. The color is absolutely amazing. I love this color. This is great. I love it. I'm glad I decided to do this beer review. I'm going to enjoy this with my pizza. Wow. This was absolutely amazing. I'm glad I did this. Guys, if you're interested, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below uh, so you can get more information from Shinerbach, Texas, and their different beers that they brew. Thanks for drinking with me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.